For centuries, martial artists have been inspired by the animal kingdom. The foundation of Kung Fu dates back to the Shaolin Temple in the 6th century AD. By the 1600s, many animal styles of Kung Fu had been developed. Fighting techniques modeled after the biomechanics and motions of animals. The lightning fast strike of the snake. The balance and evasiveness of the crane. The deadly accuracy of the praying mantis. The agility of the monkey. And finally, the raw power and fearless aggression of the tiger. State-of-the-art 3D animation and cutting-edge motion capture technology This Beijing native won numerous national wushu championships in China before moving to the United States. Sudo, speed. Her specialty is speed. The snake. Snake-style Kung Fu focuses on attacking vulnerable vital areas like the eyes, groin, and joints for maximum debilitation. The key to Li Jing's accuracy is hand-eye coordination and muscle memory. Repeating an action over and over again fortifies neural pathways in the central nervous system allowing a person to perform this same action without conscious input from the brain. We can indeed mimic the snake, not just the technique, but also its speed. Modern science confirms that a kung fu fighter can master some killer moves from this deadly reptile. Lightning fast hand speed is only one component of fighting. The foundation for all sports is balance. So centuries ago, martial artists began to study one of the animal kingdom's most famous balancing acts, the crane. The crane. Balance. Grace. Evasion. fight science veteran Glenn Levy. He's a martial arts instructor, stuntman, and fight coordinator. <laughs> the crane, a bird which has specialized spinal fluid to monitor balance, allowing it to effortlessly stand on one leg for hours at a time. Humans lack these specialized features, so Glenn will have to rely on his martial arts training. Crane-style Kung Fu fighters are legendary for maintaining perfect balance even while evading lethal attacks. These fighters may be masters when it comes to evading attacks, but they're also legendary for counter-striking with a single deadly blow. But in a fight, the best defense is sometimes a good offense. blow like this delivered to the head could be fatal. Glenn Levy has demonstrated that crane-style kung fu not only excels in the art of balance and evasion, but it can also end a fight with a single lethal blow. Yet a martial artist who has mastered the speed of a snake and the balance of a crane is still an incomplete fighter. The next kung fu animal style we're testing 
instills a skill necessary for the superior fighter, deadly precision. Tang Lang Quan, the Peru Mantis. Our Mantis challenger is Kung Fu expert Wang Wei. Jing Jue, accuracy. Bodily explosiveness. Shiji, timing. The praying mantis is an aggressive predator that uses its front legs to snatch its prey. With reflexes measured at 25 milliseconds, that's four times faster than the blink of an eye. Like the mantis, martial artists use their arms to make lightning fast strikes. A low stance and swaying movements also mimic the insect. When one thinks of martial arts, insects don't usually come to mind. But early kung fu masters thought like scientists and studied how even the mantis could improve the man. But what about one of man's nearest relatives? Could startling similarities between man and monkey be the missing link in winning a fight? Agility plays a vital role in the evolution of combat, which is why for centuries kung fu fighters have turned to the monkey style. We share over 90% of our genetic material with monkeys, but how do we compare to them as fighters? Can a man really fight like a monkey? Danny Ilobaka has volunteered to put his body to the test. Danny is a world-renowned free runner who has incorporated monkey-style movements into his training. The monkey. Acrobatic. Unpredictable. Agility. When he uses his arms to move across the structure, he must use three important skills. His strength, balance, and coordination. Pound for pound, monkeys are more than twice as strong as humans, so the stress on Danny's body is extreme. jump eight feet from a crouch like this, he must generate a large amount of power in his hips, over 1,700 watts. During dismount, Danny uses the muscles in his legs and hips as flexible shock absorbers to absorb the final impact. Each animal style emphasizes a unique attribute, speed, accuracy, balance, and acrobatics. But perhaps the most legendary and lethal animal style of all focuses on sheer raw power. It's based on one of nature's strongest and most dangerous predators. The tiger. Brent Foster is a martial artist with black belts in several disciplines, and he's inspired by the intensity of tiger-style kung fu. The fifth and final animal style kung fu can help a fighter claw his way to the top, tiger style. The tiger claw strike is considered one of the most powerful blows in all of the martial arts.
But for human fighters, it's the technique that matters most. But to actually have a live tiger in front of you, you can actually see the comparisons very clearly. Tiger-style kung fu is legendary for its explosive power and ferocious claws. Obviously, this is a skill we hope we never have to use. But it's good to see Tiger Kung Fu is not just a flashy style, but it's an effective technique that can do some serious damage. Although humans might not have the same physical capabilities as the animals we copy, we can learn, adapt, and evolve. That's why animal-style kung fu has stood the test of time. By combining the natural styles of different creatures, we can become more versatile fighters than Mother Nature's best. To reach the top of the food chain, some of the world's greatest martial artists learn to fight like an animal.